About a little more than a week before the October 9th event, where the FIU scientists, the communications department and CLIO are going to be working with these students to actually see what's happening with sea level rise during a King Tide event. CLIO Institute was created in 2010 in order to sort of bridge the divide between what scientists know about the environment and what society understands about the environment. So in forming CLIO, we realize we need to empower the young people to find and share their voices. So part of the CLIO Institute's basket of activities is to create and empower a youth task force. About making sure that they can connect sea level rise and the effects of sea level rise at very high tides with carbon pollution, greenhouse gases, a warming atmosphere, a warming ocean, and just make the whole thing one completely understood series of interconnections. It's important for us that the students don't just show up on October 9th to do the measurements and take the information and discuss climate change and sea level rise without understanding how it all fits together. So today was to give them the basic science of climate change and some of the solutions that are on the ground for us to try and correct the wrong that we have wrought on Earth so far. I think they got it. The students who are here today are those who are coming on October 9th to represent Cleo and to be student leaders for the mass students. So it's important to me that they get it and can talk about it fluently, eloquently, and make sure they're cogent in their responses. The speaker will actually emit a frequency which will equate to how much salt content is in the water. It's going to be either higher if there is a high salt content, but it may also be lower if we're testing fresh water that may have a much lower salt content. They all seem to be very, very motivated by this, and I'm sure they'll, they'll try to convey their message to everyone they can, and we'll do the same. With, like, we're with Clio, and that's our job to actually spread the word, like um, how climate change is affecting everyone. And uh, I hope together, us, with Mass Academy, FIU, and this, all the centers and mayors, we can make a difference. My name is Ari Adzer, I'm a news reporter, and uh, we are here to cover this event regarding the King Tide flooding. And we have two U.S. senators coming here today: Sheldon Whitehouse, Rhode Island, and our own Bill Nelson from Florida. Sea level rise is reality and climate change is what's causing it. In fact, the projections could be as much as two to three feet if we don't change our policies. That means that most of the population of Florida would be inundated with water. I don't think we want that and it's time for people to wake up. Let me just say this. This ocean, this bay right here, it's not Republican, it's not Democrat, it's not Hispanic, it's not African American, it's not white, it's all of us. Mayor Levine is the reason that where you're standing right now is not flooded this year. Last year, this would have been under a foot of water. There would have been bay water all over here and all over Miami Beach. And since January of last year until now, which is 10 months, they've installed pumps, temporary pumps, full-time pumps, They've done all kinds of engineering feats that are amazing, and this will go on and on in Miami Beach, so that we'll be able to live here for the next 30 or 40 years without having to have a paddle board to stand on and paddle along like on Alton Road like we used to do. So. Today is about experiencing the climate impacts close, up close, and personal, because that's what climate change is. Climate change isn't about faraway places and faraway dangers. It's about impact today to the safety of our communities, to the viability of our commercial enterprises, and most importantly, it's about the public health of the families across the United States of America.